Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the domain of f of x is equal to ln of e to the x minus 3. And then we're asked to find the inverse of this function and the domain of the inverse. So the starting point for the domain of any function is all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity, and then we look at the function and see which values can we exclude from that. So here, uh, e to the x can take on any values, right? We can subtract 3 from any of those values. And, but the restriction comes when we're taking the natural log of e to the x minus 3. Because when you're taking the log of anything, the thing inside has to be greater than 0. The domain, therefore, is just solving for this, adding 3 to both sides. If e to the x is greater than 3, turning this into a logarithm, log base e, which is just ln, of 3 is equal to x, except it's not equal because this is an inequality. And since x is on the greater than side on this one, it has to stay that way. So if, therefore, the domain of this function is x is greater than ln of 3. Let's find the inverse of this function. We have, let's say, in the xy plane, y equals ln of e to the x minus 3. And the way you find the inverse is you swap x and y. So x equals ln of e to the y minus 3. The easiest way that we can solve this is to take e and ra raise e to the power of both sides. If that makes sense, so we have e to the x and e to everything on the other side, ln of e to the y minus 3. These are equal. And making sure that's separate, e to the x remains the same. This is e to the log base e of everything inside the parentheses. e to the log base e means that this whole thing is just e to the y minus 3. Think of it as the exponent and the logarithm canceling each other out, and we're just left with what's inside. And we get e to the x, adding 3 to both sides, e to the y equal to e to the x plus 3. And we can just take the natural log of both sides to get the natural log of e to the x plus 3 is equal to the natural log, which is log base e, of e to the y. Like I said earlier, logarithm plus exponent means you just get what's inside. So this is just y is equal to ln of e to the x plus 3. So this is the inverse of the function. And we're asked, what is the domain of this inverse? And again, the only restriction on this is that what's inside the natural log has to be greater than 0. So e to the x plus 3 has to be greater than 0. Therefore, e to the x has to be greater than negative 3. And we know by being familiar with exponential functions that the standard function e to the x is always greater than zero, right? If we just want to graph it quickly, it starts off very close to zero and then it goes off to infinity, but it never goes less than zero. Therefore, it's never even coming close to negative three. So for any value of x, negative infinity to infinity, we will get a, value, a valid output of our function here. Therefore, the domain of f of x is equal to ln of e to the x minus 3, is that x must be greater than ln of 3. The inverse of this function is ln of e to the x plus 3, and the domain of that is all real numbers.